Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be working with an arithmetic sequence. We have an arithmetic sequence whose partial sums are given, so s sub m equals n, s sub n equals m. m and n are different values, obviously if they are the same then this will always be true, and we're supposed to find s sub m plus n. First of all let's talk about what's, what s sub m or s sub n means. s sub n in any sequence pretty much means the sum of the first n terms. Okay, so that's how we define s sub n. So to solve this problem, we're going to be using the formula for the sum of an arithmetic sequence, the, nth, uh, the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence, and it's given by the following formula. You add the first and the last term, and then you divide by 2, and then you multiply by the number of terms, which in this case is going to be n. Now, I want to use some substitution here, so let's say... Uh, a1, which is the first term, is equal to A, and the common difference is equal to D. Okay? So if this is the first term, and D is the common difference. And if you use that formula, you can obviously write the nth term An in terms of the first one. You can write it as A plus N minus 1 times D. Alright? And when you add that to the, uh, you know, when you just substitute here, S sub n is going to be the following, a1 plus, a, a n can be written as, actually I should write, replace a1 with a, because I already assumed that, a plus, a plus n minus 1 times d divided by 2 and all multiplied by n. And I, obviously I can also write this as n times the quantity 2a plus n minus 1d over 2. So this is the formula we're going to be using for the, the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. Okay? All right. So using that formula, let's go ahead and write a couple things. First of all, I want to start with S sub m, which is given as n. And I can set it equal to by using the formula m times the quantity 2a plus the quantity m minus 1 times d all over now from here we're going to be getting some interesting things such as let's go ahead and cross multiply and divide by m so we get 2n over m is equal to 2a plus m minus 1 times d. So let this be our first equation. I want to number the equations because I'm going to manipulate them and I want to be able to refer to them easily. This is equation number one. So by using the same idea, we can write S sub n, which is equal to m, and again, m and n are different. That can be written as n times the quantity 2a plus n minus 1. Everything, uh, you know, m, re m is replaced with n, pretty much. And if you simplify this the same way, you get 2m over n equals 2a plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. And let this be our equation number two. Okay? All right, great. So now we have two equations. Let's subtract one and two. Okay? If you subtract one and two, something interesting is going to happen. First of all, on the left-hand side, you're going to be subtracting 2n over m minus 2m over n. And on the right-hand side, 2a is going to cancel out. And then you're going to get md minus d minus nd plus d, because you have to negate them, and the d is going to cancel out, and we're going to get the following. We can kind of write this as, you know, two times the quantity n over m minus m over n. We can make a common denominator, write it as n squared minus m squared over mn, and on the right-hand side, we can just factor this out as m minus n times d. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is I can, I can factor n squared minus m squared using difference of two squares, but I do need a negative sign here to make it m squared minus n squared first. So let me go ahead and write it that way first. And then I'll be factoring the top. I didn't write parentheses because I don't think we need them. So we get the following. Here, m minus n does not equal 0 because m does not equal n. Remember that? That was our one of the givens. So we can go ahead and cross them out. So then from here, we kind of get d by itself, right? So we can write the d as 
negative two times the quantity m plus n divided by mn. And this is going to be equation number three. So far, I got three equations, right? The 2n over m, 2m over n, and d by itself, or d in terms of m and n. Great. So now, let's go ahead and write what we're trying to find. What are we trying to solve for? We want to find s sub m plus n. So why not write the formula for the same thing? m plus n over 2 multiplied by 2a plus m plus n minus 1 times d. So by using the formula, pretty much, this is what I get. Now, I want to work this out a little bit. Uh, for example, I can just go ahead and multiply by 2 and then divide by m plus n. So I get the following, s sub m plus n multiplied by 2 over m plus n. How about just multiply by a reciprocal so that we kind of get a simpler expression on the right hand side because I want that expression to look like uh, the other ones. And this is going to be my equation uh, number four. All right, so let me go ahead and frame that. And this is equation number four. So far we got four equations. Now we're go we are going to subtract. So take a look at these two equations now. Okay, what are we gonna do? We're going to be subtracting these. Okay, now here's uh, what it's gonna look like. Subtract. 4 and 2. And when you subtract, you're going to get s sub m plus n times 2 over m plus n minus, minus, now we're subtracting the left hand side. I'm sorry, did I say 4 and 2? Yeah, 4 and 2, not 4 and 3. Okay, where's my number 2? Okay, here we go. So we're going to subtract 2m over n. Let's go ahead and write it here 2m over n. And that's the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we get 2a plus m plus n minus 1 times d. And let's see what we have on the right hand side of number 2. We have 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So we're going to be subtracting that minus, we're going to subtract minus 2a times, and so I can just probably use brackets first and then simplify it. Next step, n minus 1d. Okay, this is what's on the right hand side of equation number 2. Okay, now we can just go ahead and, uh, you know, keep it as is for now. And I want to simplify the right hand side first. Let's go ahead and do it before because the left hand side, we don't need to make a common denominator or anything. You'll see what happens. So 2a is going to cancel out. Obviously, you ho hopefully notice that I have the n minus 1 times d on both sides. So they're going to cancel out completely. And I'm only going to have md on the right hand side, which is nice, right? Okay, so now uh, for d, we have an expression, so now we're going to substitute substitute d from, from equation number 3. If you go back to number 3, you're going to see that we have an e equation for number 3, I mean for d. So let's go ahead and substitute that here. So we're going to get s sub m plus n times 2 over m plus n minus 2m over n equals m times d which is negative 2 times m plus n over mn. m is going to cancel out. Well, we should have told you m does not equal 0, obviously, because we're not talking about something like s sub 0. We have to have at least one term in the sum, so m does not equal 0 anyways. So now, what can we do? Well, instead of making a common denominator, we can just go ahead and keep this part on the left-hand side and add the other piece to the right-hand side. We have negative 2m minus 2n over n on the right hand, si right hand side. And then to that, I'm going to be adding 2m over n. The negative 2m and the positive 2m are going to cancel out and leaving us with negative 2 here. So the right hand side is going to equal negative 2. Now, if you multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 2 over m plus n, then we get the following, s sub m plus n equals, and by the way, 2 and negative 2, I mean, the 2s cancel out, and we get uh, we get the following. Let me go ahead and write it this way first, and then I'm going to simplify next. Okay, great. So this is going to be like that, right? Oops, that should be a 2, not m plus n, all right? And now we're going to simplify the 2s. That's going to leave us with a negative sign multiplied by m plus n. So s sub m plus n can be written as negative m minus n. And this brings us to the end of this video. 
Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.